poo, number two, feces, excrement, there are many words for it. Some people like to talk about it, but it isn't often that we look at it. But on the Isle of Wight, you can do just that, at the aptly named National Poo Museum. There they've got 20 different varieties of waste, ranging from ones we're more used to dealing with, to a whole lot of animal dung. It's the brainchild of the Eccleston George Collective, of which Daniel Roberts is a member. So I was doing this walk with some friends uh, right in the wilds of northern Sweden. We came across a poo right in the middle of the path. Um, I think it was, it was some kind of a cat and we, we all huddled around this and, and kind of guessed, because none of us were really experts, that it was a lynx. Um, and it was really just noticing how excited everybody became. But more than people just having a fascination with poo, there's actually a scientific reason. We can use it for health screening, for looking at parasites. Um, we can uh, monitor the, the chemicals that, were in, that are in it. Um, and it can generally give you lots of information about how healthy your animals are. In order to place the poo in the resin, it has to be completely desiccated. That takes around an hour for insect poo and a couple of weeks for a lion's. The team designed and built a special machine just for the job. Once placed in the resin, it's then put in a specially designed vacuum chamber built just for poo encapsulation. The exhibition's set to go on tour around the UK, meaning we'll all get to lift the lids on what we usually flush away.